Hello. Hello. Oh, Hi. Oh, sorry. I'm Officer Monroe Pulling Police. The reason why I pulled you over is because you did not turn into the closest lane when you came off of Valley Road there. Oh, okay. Any reason for that? Um, I just thought it was okay to just go into the next lane. Okay, so no, you gotta turn into the closest lane. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your passenger okay? Yeah, he's. We're taking him home. Okay. Do you have a license, registration, insurance, please? Yeah. It's in here. Um, I have the registration. Oh. Where are you guys coming from tonight? Um. I'm so sorry. I, I honestly didn't know that. Okay. Do you still live at... My address did change, so I okay. live... Uh, that's my apartment number. Okay. I want you to phone number for you. Phone number? Yep. Yeah. All right. Any alcohol tonight? Um, no. So you can smell it coming from the car. Um, some did spill a yeah. little bit. I'm not going to lie. Some did spill. Honestly, okay. we were drinking through the back screens. That's why you sleep back. Who, who was Sleeping? Um, he's sleeping. Yeah. Oh. We're taking him home because he's sleeping. You're taking him home? Yeah. Okay. How much alcohol have you had tonight? Um, I've only had like two shots. Two shots? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, smoke coming off your breath right now. Okay. All right. Um, you got that insurance? Is there a Do you have it on your phone or anything? Do you have a picture of it on your phone or anything? Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Give me a second. Okay. Is it Denaja? Um, Denaja. Denaja? Yeah. Denaja, can you step out of the car for me? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, so the reason I'm asking you to step out of the car is because I can smell alcohol coming from the car. Okay, yeah. You told yeah. me you had two shots. Mm -hmm. um, how long ago were those two shots? Um, probably like an hour ago. An hour ago? Yeah. Okay, and you guys were at your friend's house? Yeah. Okay, give me one second. Okay. You just hold on to this. So, Nigel, my main concern is just that you're okay to drive tonight? Yeah. Okay. I um, completely understand. Okay, would you be willing to do a field sobriety test for me? Is that yes or no? Okay, you'd be willing to do tests? Okay, so do you have anything wrong with your eyes? I see you're wearing glasses. I am a little blind, so I do wear glasses to drive, yeah. Okay, um, do you have anything physically, um, any physical limitations that would prevent you from walking in a straight line or balancing on one foot? I'm not gonna lie, I, I naturally do have bad balance. Okay. Is Naturally. that from like a medical reason or? Um, I just think it's from like, I'm a runner. Like I run a lot. I uh -huh. do work out. And so I just think it's wear and tear. Okay. So you're, you're an athlete. Um, so I don't like, play for an sport athlete? here. I was an athlete. Yes. For like okay. three years. Yeah. Okay. And what, how long ago did you have something to eat or drink? To eat what? To eat or drink. Um, I ate probably like three hours ago. Okay. Anything to eat or drink in the last 15 minutes? Like alcohol or just drinks? Like just anything to eat or drink in the last 15 minutes? Um, probably 
probably just like some water. Water within the last 15 minutes? Yeah. Okay. So let's go stand over here where it's nice and flat. Okay. Can he close the door? Yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, and could I have you like place your glasses on top of your head? Ooh, okay. I mean, like I am blind. Nope. Like, yep. does that have anything to do with anything? Or um, I will just make note of it. Okay. I'm. It's all. I'm just so you know. I'm recording on my body camera right now. That's fine. Okay. 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 So the first test is called horizontal gaze nystagmus. It's just a. It's just a test of your eyes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want you to go ahead and stand look kind of like you are with your heels and toes together, okay. arms down at your side. And for this test, you're going to be looking at the, the clicker on my pen. Can you okay. see that? Mm -hmm. So you're going to be using your eyes and your eyes only. Do not move your head. Okay. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and stare right here for me. Mm -hmm. You're going to follow the tip of my pen. Do you understand? Okay, so this last one, I'm going to move the pen up. Okay. You're going to want to move your head up, but do not. Just follow the tip of my pen, okay? Okay. Okay, you can relax. Okay. Okay, so the next test is the walk and turn test, okay? Um, would you rather walk slightly downhill or slightly uphill? I mean, it is slippery, so does that yep. have anything to do with it? Or? So they're going to be heel to toe steps, just nice and slow. Okay. okay. Can I wear my glasses for that? Or? Yep, you can wear your glasses. Okay. Okay, so do you want to walk slightly downhill or slightly uphill? Can I walk downhill? Because, so you're going to go down and back, so okay. you're going to go down and then back up either way. How far? Nine steps. Nine I'll, steps? Yep, I'll give you the full okay. instructions. I'm just trying to make sure that you're, you can perform the test in a way that's most comfortable for you, okay? Okay. So would you rather start going down or start going up? Can I start going down? Yep. And it's just heel to toe? Yep, but I'll, I will explain. Okay. So first off, I'm going to be grading you on how well you can follow my instructions as well as how well you can do on this test, okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put you into the starting position. Okay. So can you imagine a line going all the way down the parking lot coming out of your left foot? Okay. So now I want you to place your right foot in a heel to toe manner in front of your left foot. Right foot in front of the left foot. Okay. Now arms down at your side and do not move from this position until I tell you to begin the test. Do you understand? Okay. Okay. So for this test, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down that line that you are imagining. Okay. You're going to, on your ninth step, you're going to leave your front foot on the ground. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Yep. On your ninth step, you're going to leave your front foot on the ninth ground. Ninth step. On your ninth step. Okay. You're going to leave your front foot on the ground. It's slippery and I'm in slippers. Mm-hmm. I will. I'm sorry, I do have to pee. Okay. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, so. Okay. On your ninth step, leave your front foot on the ground using your back foot. Left foot? 
on your ninth step, leave your front foot on the ground. Okay, whichever foot I end up with. Yep. Okay. And then you're going to use your back foot to take a series of small steps around your front foot and take nine more returning heel to toe steps down that line. Okay? So that's down to where that white line is, Just basically. Nine steps. Nine steps. Okay. okay. So I'm going to demonstrate and then I'm going to tell you a little bit more, okay? Okay. So actually, I'll just tell you right now. So during the test, you're going to count your steps out loud, mm -hmm. look down at your feet, take heel to toe steps. And once you start the test, do not stop until you have completed the test. Okay. okay. So, so nine steps, and then I can stop. Nine steps. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate for you. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna just watch, watch me for a second. So it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna take three steps, but you're gonna take nine. Mm -hmm. so it's gonna look like this. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take a series of small steps around your front foot. Okay. One, two, three. So I took three steps, you're going to take nine. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. So again, during the test... I'm sorry, do you think I could pee before? Uh, I don't really know of anywhere that you could go right now. Okay. Okay? I'm sorry, so I do have to we'll, pee. We'll, try and, we'll try and get through this, okay? Okay. So, again, during the test, you're going to be looking down at your feet while you walk. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep your arms down your side. Okay. Count your steps out loud. Okay. Take heel to toe steps. And the test is continuous, so do not stop until you have finished the test. Do you understand? Okay. Okay, you may begin. Okay. And then steps. Series of small steps around your front foot. Like that? Just continue the test. Okay, so that concludes that test, okay? Okay. Um, so, why don't you go ahead and stand right, right? So, actually, we'll do it, we'll do it right here. Okay. So, go ahead and stand and face me. Put your heels and toes together, arms down your side. Okay. So, this test is the one leg stand, okay? So do not move from this position until I tell you to begin the test, okay? Okay. Okay. So when I tell you, you're going to lift a foot of your choosing approximately six inches off the ground, mm -hmm. point your toe so that your foot is parallel to the ground, mm -hmm. and you're going to count out loud while looking at your toe, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. Okay? So during the test, you're going to be looking down at your toe that you have raised off the ground, mm -hmm. count 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, until I tell you to stop, keeping both legs straight and arms down at your side. Okay. Do you understand? Yeah, I just, it's just like slippery. I don't know if you guys can take that into consideration. Yep. And I'm in slippers. Nope. Yep. Okay. 100%. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. And you may begin the test. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, can I put it down? Go ahead and continue. Okay. 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, can I go again? Yep. Okay. Okay. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, okay, you 1, can 3, stop. 3, 3. Okay, and this final test is the voluntary preliminary breath test. It does not replace anything evidentiary that we may ask you to do later on. Are you willing to provide a breath sample? Okay. What happens? Uh, it's up to you. Um, if you don't, then I just have to make my decision based on everything I've seen thus far, okay? Okay. Okay. So, are you willing to do this test? Okay. 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 Do you guys base anything off of what I just did, or is it just this? Yep. It's the, you know, our entire encounter. So I'm going to show you here, but we start, and we're all zeros on there, right? Okay, so we're going to do 
bridge, you're gonna wrap it up around the tip of this, so it's gonna end up like a blown up balloon, and blow the arm apart for approximately five to ten seconds, okay? All right, big deep breath, and blow. Keep going, harder, 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 keep going, go harder, okay. Probably just like three fresh points. Okay. How long was that? Probably just like two hours ago. Okay. Recognize it. Right now you're at a point one five two. Do you know what the legal limit is? Pullman four five four five six. Note a PVT of a point one five two. Okay. We almost double that. Okay. Okay. So at the time you are under arrest for DUI. Okay. Oh wow. Go ahead and put your hands behind your back. Can I can I say something? So you'll be have a chance at the station, Hold okay? On. Lena! Do not pull away. Lena! Okay. So a question about I, your passenger. Can I ask? Why, so, why would so, you guys... So right now, question about your passenger, okay? Would you like... It, has the passenger been drinking? No. Okay, would you like us to release your vehicle to her? Yes? Okay. Are you comfortable with me checking on the back passenger? I don't even know him. Okay. Does your passenger know him? We don't know him. We were just taking him home. So both of you guys don't know him. Four, nine, four, five, six, Can one, I five, ask three, something? Three, Did I... <laughs> Just let you know you're being audio and video recorded. That's fine. The time is. If I can pull it up. 0306, December 3rd. All right, and then when right, he's going to read you your rights, okay? All right, he's going to read you your rights, okay? So, like you said, you're being audio and video recorded. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right of time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you are being questioned. <laughs> And I'm trying to afford to hire a lawyer when we be appointed to represent you to put questioning if you do. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand each of these rights are the same? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, before. Okay. So, we need to figure out a way to get your passengers home. Okay. So do you, do you have someone you could call to get a ride from? Have you had anything to drink? Like one. Would you be willing? Would you be Would you be willing to provide a voluntary preliminary breath test if so I can make sure that you can drive? A breathalyzer, or like a yeah, just, so, just a breath test. Like I said, it's just so I can determine okay. you can drive. It's not going to be used against you in any. Okay. Six one. You can deal with that, yeah, and I'll perfect. go over here. I'll take that from you. Okay. Is this yours? Yeah. All right, tonight we're gonna go over to my car, okay? All right. Tonight, do you have anything on you? You know, I'm I'm sorry, but like, really, out of all the days that I choose to turn into this lane, you guys choose tonight, really? We're just doing our job. Okay? I know. I'm we're sorry. Lane. I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but nope. it's like and crazy even... because it's like really, it's a lane, like really. Nope, I understand. It's still a traffic violation, okay? So. You've been completely cordial with me this entire time, okay? So do you have anything on you that could poke me, stick me, prod me, stab me? Anything you're not supposed to have? I don't have anything like that. Why would I have anything like that? We just have like to ask that. before we search people because we don't want to get poked. Sometimes people have... I'm sorry, I'm really not trying to be... No, I understand this. It's very just, stressful. It's like, I just don't understand, like, out of all the times that I've turned into the first lane to get into the other lane, and then it's tonight that you guys choose to pull me over to trying to turn to the other lane that's fine i know you're just doing your job and i respect it but also it's just ridiculous
Okay. So can I have you just separate your feet a little bit? Do you have anything in your pockets? I don't have any. Take the okay. jacket off. Take the jacket off. I don't have anything. Imagine this is just part of our program. I don't so. have anything. Okay, we got some money there. <sighs> Jordan, you want to hold on to this stuff? Yep. Do you have pockets on these? So, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to release your view because you're not going to be Okay, so would you like me to park it in the parking space? Can I just, can I, can I talk to her? So, I can't let you talk to her right now. Can you ask her something we'll for me? Can you get me out? I don't want to be so, in here overnight. Okay. Can I exp can I explain how this is going to go? <laughs> We're going to go to the station. We're going to do another another breath test if you choose, and then you're going to you can only be at the Pullman Police Department for up to six hours. Okay. That's all night. Then... So so are you okay with me grabbing your vehicle? Are you can okay he? With me can he park it in this parking lot? How right are they getting home? We'll I'm figure it out. Am I able to know how they're gonna get home? I'm gonna be able to figure that out, okay? You I'm sorry, I need to shut up. So just to let you know I need to shut up! Okay! Back, okay! It's ridiculous. So just so you know you're being audio and video recorded. That's back fine. Here. That's okay. fine. I don't okay. care. Okay. It's parked in the parking lot. Denijah, can you park your vehicle in this parking lot, please? I can park it. Can Officer Shellabarger park your car in the parking lot? How are my friends getting home? He's going to figure that out, and then he will let me know, and then I can tell you, okay? He's talking to them right now, but right now we just need to move your car. Are you guys going to be able to tell me how they're going to get home? Yep. I will tell you, but they're figuring that out right now. Can we move your car, please? Thank you. You can you can park the car. Do you have the ID and the? Okay. Do you need your phone or wallet or anything out of the car? Can I get my phone? Yep. Where is it at? She has my phone. Okay. She wants her phone. Thank you. That's her phone. And I'll bring her keys to you. Okay. Four, five, six. Good. I'll be en route to Pullman PD with that female beginning mileage. Good. Two zero one three five point four. I still would have pulled you over. 
I pull people over for that because all the time. I honestly, like, I drive all the time, and I literally always try to turn into the, clear, the nearest lane because that's even when they teach you driver ed. Uh huh. And it's just sometimes it just you just turn into the next lane, and I honestly didn't know it was that big of a deal. It's it's just that it's still a traffic violation. It's still something that we stop for. I'm sorry, for. I cannot hear you. It's just it's still a traffic violation. It's still something that we stop for. So it's just always something to think about when you're driving. Yep. Because I honestly did not know that. I mean, I know they they always teach you to drive to the clearest lane, the nearest lane, and I try to do that. But I do always see people just drive to the next lane because I just also thought that's what you can do. Yeah, it does happen, and it also causes a lot of car wrecks, so it's a, another good reason for why we enforce that. Yeah, give me Is one. my car going to get towed? No, it will not. Okay. Pullman 456 arrived in new mileage. But, Two zero one three six point five. All right, go ahead and step up. All right, hold up right here. And step in there. Go and move over here. face this white wall and now that we're in here and I can see a little better I can make sure you just don't have anything on here okay and then once I make sure I'll put this back on you okay Do you have any pockets on the pants or anything? No. Nope. Okay. Don't. All right. Go ahead. Have a seat. Can you pray? Can you pray? 
Yeah, on my other shoulder. Or do I have to be half on, half off? Your phone is still in my car. I need to go get it, but I cannot get it until I get someone else to come here. Oh, okay. I just can't. I, I'm I can't. Curious. I'm just asking. Yep. Sorry, I've never been in this place. So, so yeah, this uh, this property form we will fill out to make sure everything that you came in with you're going to leave with. Okay. Mm -hmm. So even down to this one penny, we're going to make sure that's on there. Okay. Pullman 456, case number, time of custody. Copy, thank you. Where were you born? Colorado. Colorado. Yeah. Colorado Springs, Colorado. Sorry, you just have to ask. Male or female? I'm a female. Okay. I'm a girl. Date of birth is 11 8 97. Yeah. And what is your current address?
All right, so I know I read you your rights out in the field, but we got to do it again in here, okay? Okay. Good. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right at this time to an attorney. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. If you are under the age of 18, anything you say can be used against you in a juvenile court prosecution for a juvenile offense and can also be used against you in an adult criminal court criminal prosecution if the juvenile court decides that you are to be tried as an adult. You have the right to talk to an attorney before answering any questions. You have the right to have an attorney present during the questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you without cost if you so desire. You can exercise these rights at any time. Do you understand these rights? And then I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights and I understand these rights. And then, so, I'm gonna take the cuffs off, okay? But you cannot touch your face at all, okay? I can't move, can you move my hair from my face? So. Or can you push my glasses up? Yes. Okay. So I will let you put your, push your glasses up, but you just cannot like actually touch your face. Touch my face at all. Okay. Or around your mouth, okay? Can I move like my hair from my shoulders or Yes, no? okay. so go ahead and stand up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let go of your hand. All right, go ahead and sit back. Can I fix my jacket? Yes, in one second. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Sorry, I just need to. I just have to make sure you're not putting anything in your mouth, okay? Oh. No, I okay. don't have I don't have anything okay. promised. Yep. You checked me. I'm not lying about that. I would not lie about that. Okay. So, I just read you your rights, and it says I have read or have had read to me the above explanation of my constitutional rights, and I understand these rights. If that's true, you can sign next to the X. I understand my constitutional rights. I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promise of any kind. If that is true, you can sign right there. Um, yeah. Can I ask you that I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time? Okay. If you have any questions, I can put you on the phone with a lawyer if you'd like. I can't, uh, I can, oh. I can basically just read it to you. So oh, okay. You can't explain you, it in detail. You signed detail. that you understood your rights, mm -hmm. and then this line says, I understand my constitutional rights. I have decided not to exercise these rights at this time. Any statements made by me are made freely, voluntarily, and without threats or promises of any kind. I just, I, am I able to pee soon? Uh, yes. Once we get this test done, okay? I just, I, I need to pee. I, I signed here, yeah. Yep. I'm just closing my pants. I'm sorry. Would you like to talk to an attorney? No. Okay. okay. So 
can you open your mouth and lift your tongue up for me? We have to do a mouth check before we do the, the breath test, okay? You need to open your mouth, lift your tongue up. Can you put your tongue down? Okay. Zero, three, twenty-nine. Okay. So this next part is called implied consent warning for breath. Warning, you are under arrest for RCW 4661502 or RCW 4661504. Driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle while under the influence of intoxicating liquor and or drugs. RCW 4661503. Being under 21 years of age and driving or being in actual physical control of a motor vehicle after consuming alcohol or marijuana. RCW 4625110. Driving a commercial motor vehicle while having alcohol or THC in your system. Further, you are now being asked to submit to a test of your breath, which consists of two separate samples of your breath taken independently to determine alcohol concentration. You are now advised that you have the right to refuse this breath test and that if you refuse a, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be revoked or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least one year and B, your refusal to submit to this test may be used in a criminal trial. You are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and the test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the, Depar by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are. Go ahead. One second. So your friend locked her keys in your car. Can they get back in there to get her keys? Do they have my keys? The officer has your keys? Yes. Okay. Affirm, that's okay. 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 I'll just start from this one. Like, I'll reread that, re that one again, okay, so everything makes sense and it flows. You are further advised that if you submit to this breath test and a test is administered, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are age 21 or over, and the test indicates that the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0.08 or more, or you are in violation of RCW 4661502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence, or under age 21, and the test indicates the alcohol concentration of your breath is 0.02 or more, or you are in violation of RCW 4661502, driving under the influence, or RCW 4661504, physical control of a vehicle under the influence. If your driver's license permit or privilege to drive is suspended, revoked, or denied, you may be eligible to immediately apply for an ignition interlock driver's license. You have the right to additional tests administered by any qualified person of your choosing, of your own choosing. For those not driving a commercial motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if your driver's license is suspended or revoked, your commercial driver's license, if any, will be disqualified. For those driving a commercial motor, ve motor vehicle at the time of arrest, if you either A, refuse this test, or B, submit to this test, and the test indicates an alcohol concentration of 0.04 or more, you will be disqualified by the Department of Licensing from, dr from driving a commercial motor vehicle. So I have read or have had read to me the above statements. If that is true, you can sign next to the X. Will you now submit to a breath test? Is that a yes? So I just have to ask, do you have anything in your mouth? I know you told me you I do. have gum. You have gum in your mouth right now? Yes. Okay. Is that... Okay. Do I, I need to spit that out? Yes, just don't touch your mouth, okay? So I didn't know if you need to know that earlier. Yep. Or not, but just gum, that's it. Okay, can I have you open your mouth and lift up your tongue? Okay. So, second mouth check. Yes. Zero three thirty three.
Okay, we have 14 minutes before we're going to do the test, okay? We have that 15 minute wait period, and I didn't know you had the gum in your mouth. Oh, okay, sorry. I didn't, yep. I didn't know if I asked That's fine. I don't think I asked when we were out in the field. So, was that in your mouth when you did the PBT? Yep, okay. Am I too late to fix my jacket a little yep. bit? Oh, and one one zero zero Northeast Stadium. out there, but what's your phone number? And you're a citizen of the U.S., correct? color what would you call that i mean this is a wig so do okay. you guys need to know my real hair color it's black okay whatever you want me to put on here is what i'll put my real hair color is black this okay. is a wig okay. just like heads up yep I, a lot of these questions we just have to ask like so like this one um we have white black asian native american unknown black And we'll go over the property stuff that we have in here. So we have one earring, one quarter, and My one. phone doesn't count as property. I'm going to get it, but I'm oh. not going to put it on this form until we get it in here and it goes in the same box, okay? Oh. Okay. So just so you know, I'm recording. Everything's being recorded in here. So I'll make sure that we get your stuff out of the car. So we have one quarter, one penny, 26 cents.
Excuse me. Um, your keys, or did you have her keys connected to this? Um, they shouldn't have been. Her keys are separate. Is these, is these your keys? Those are fully my keys, house keys. Are you missing anything off this? No. Okay. There's, she said that your keys were connected and... They might have been stuck together, but those are all my okay. keys. And would you confirm those are her keys? Um, the green is her keys. Alright, alright. She said to call her once you're done, okay? You want to throw those in there? Yeah. Are you guys able to? I don't know her number by heart. Are you guys able to? I can go get her phone number. Okay. Uh, six one. Yeah. Can you go to my car and get? It's in the center console. It's her phone and the ID and all that stuff. Yeah. It's just right there. Okay. It's in the Sally Park. Oh, it's in the Sally Park. Yeah. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. I forgot it. It's my bed. So, while we're passing time, we have the DUI interview portion, mm -hmm. and we just ask questions. I know that you waived your rights earlier. Would you like to answer these questions? Do I have to? No. Can you tell me if there's a difference? Like, I'm not understanding, like, why I would have to answer the questions if you already gave me my rights versus if you gave me my, my rights and I don't want to. You have the right at any time to wave, like, not answer any questions. What happens if I don't answer the questions? That's just, it's your, it's your right. I just don't answer you. I just don't ask the questions. That's it. So just to be clear, you don't want to answer these questions. Is there some type of twist? I'm not, I'm not trying to, like, catch you or... Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I've nope. never been in this situation. So I don't know. It's just part of the packet. We, okay. we just have to go through the packet. Okay. So, and if at any point someone refuses or doesn't want to want to do it, we just write refused. All right. That's it. I, I don't want to do Okay. About six more minutes, okay? I can't go pee at any time. Um, after this test weekend. It's just if I let you go now, then we have to restart the whole 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just, I need to pee really bad. I can't touch my face anymore. No. So, if you want to use your finger, you can push your glasses up. It's just my eyes itching. That's it. Okay. okay. Yep. It's just not touch our face. Yep.
I can see that you're not putting anything in your mouth, so. It's just the lashes, like when you push in the, yeah. the lashes are touching. Oh, there's your stuff. Make sure we get this on here. So we have a phone, registration, ID, and some cash. That's the only thing we're adding to this. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars and ones. Does that sound right? Washington registration. that we have all of your things that you, ha you had on you when I brought you down here. Um, this is just saying that this is a list of all the things that you came in with and just verifying that we keep track of it, right? Mm -hmm. So if that's everything you came in with, you can sign next to the X. Of course, as soon as I have you sign, I forgot to add up the $3.26 for the total at the bottom. Is that okay? Okay. Forty seconds. Do you have any questions for me at this time? Um, like, is there so like what happens? Like, do I lose privilege with driving? Like, um, the license is, is restricted, correct? So, again, I can't really explain anything. Mm. Um, but before you leave, I will. So you're going to have a court date. Okay. It's going to be, I don't think Monday's a holiday, but it's going to be most likely Monday. This Monday? Yes. So you'll have a court date on Monday. And then this form here that we'll go over later is a request for a DUI hearing. And once I read that, maybe it'll explain a little bit more, but you'll get one of these when you leave as well, mm -hmm. okay, as well as your notice to appear. So, and if you have any questions, you can call the court. Okay. But basically, for us right now, um, like I said, you can only be up, be here for up to six hours, okay? For now? Yes. It's 5 o'clock, so 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, that's 11 a.m. It is 3, it's approximately 3.50 in the morning. That's like how long I have to stay in here? You can get out earlier. It just kind of depends on how. Does she have to bail me out? Or no. Oh. You'll just get released from here and then you'll have a court date. But we'll go over that a little bit more later, okay?
All right, so for this test, it's going to be very similar to how we did it out in the parking lot. So what I'm going to have you do is stand up and put your hands on the table. Again, you're going to take a big, deep breath, and you're going to give a long, big gust of air, okay? All of it going into here, okay? So a big, deep breath, and blow. Harder, harder, harder. Keep going, harder, harder. Keep going. A little harder, 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 harder. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep. Okay. Oh, okay. I think you liked it. Now you can go ahead and sit back down. Almost done. Are you going to school here? Yeah. What are you going to school for? Um, humanities. Humanities. What do you Writer want? Okay. And minor studies. What do you want to do? Yeah, got time, got time. I'm, I'm, I'm graduating from this semester. That's awesome, congratulations. Seems like what jobs really want to see is that you can just stick something out for four years and finish it, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I appreciate you being cooperative. I know it's stressful time and started to get a little emotional, but I appreciate. I mean, I I understand you guys are doing. Your, I mean, I really didn't like. I understand. I mean, that's what they teach you, drivers. I had to turn into the lane that's closest uh -huh. to you. Yeah. It just like I just would have never thought that I would have gotten pulled over for mm. trying like. Yeah. I mean, I see people do that every day I drive. Yeah. It's pretty common, but... I mean, I understand you guys are doing your job. Mm -hmm. I cannot be mad at you for doing your job. It's okay. just a little upsetting because it's like... Yeah. I understand. So, one, one last time. Put your hands on the table. Big, deep breath. Okay. Big, deep breath. Whoa. Keep going. 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 Harder. Keep going. Keep going. 
Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Almost there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. And good. Um, let me make sure that this went through. If you can just wait like five minutes, then we'll get your results, and then you can go in there and I'll get you a blanket and everything, okay? I'm gonna put this stuff. License is going with your property. And you will get a copy uh, you'll get this form, a copy of this one, a copy of your results, okay? Okay, so your first sample, the IR result was a 0 0.124. The EC result was a 0 0.126. On your second sample, it was a 0 0.123 and a 0 0.126, okay? Which one? And when do I get to call? Call. I get a call, right? So if you go to county, you would get a call. Um, we just let you call the lawyer. Does that make sense? Because well, you're only here for six hours. He said call her when you... When you get done. So I have so to I, stay here for six hours. Up to six hours. I might release you let's see I'm I might release you before seven o'clock but it's gonna I'm, I have to run that by my sergeant okay so if like I could get you a ride say 6 30 and but I can't promise anything right now because I don't know how the rest of the night's gonna go Does that am I sense? gonna have to pay for my car to get back to me no your car's in the McDonald's parking lot oh okay okay so you have to go to the restroom still yes okay so you can follow me Uh, we'll go in. Oh, 
Not that one. We'll go to this one. All right. Um, if you just wait one second, I'll grab you a blanket and then you can do what you got to do, okay? Is there a light? with stuff. I mean. Yeah. All right. on the property. So before I leave, I'm going to get your fingerprints and photograph, okay. and then you're going to have to hang them back out in there for a little bit, and then the day shift when they get here, they'll, they'll release you in a little bit, okay? Do you know, like, how long? I don't know how long. So you just want to stand right here with your back to the blue. Can you take the glasses off, please? Look at that sign right there. Okay. And then we're going to come over here and get the fingerprints. So, do you have any scars, marks, tattoos? Yeah. Like anywhere? Or? Just like a couple. Yeah. Where at? Um, I have a scar here. Okay. Scar right arm. Um, I have a scar on this side. Tattoo where? Here, on the right side. You're like right hip? Yeah, right hip, and then lower back. What's the tattoo on your right hip? This one. Okay.
fingerprints is the hard part because the machine is not very nice. Okay, so <clears throat> when you look at the little lights, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put our left hand on here, just like this. Just go ahead and put your left hand out, just like that. Yep. And you have a band-aid on that one. Yeah, I have a TV. Okay. So we're going to lift our hand up. And it's going to say, I didn't like that one. I have to push kind of hard. Lift up. not even reading. There we go. Try and lay it a little bit more flat. See the green at the top? Come on. Okay, hold it right there. Okay, we're going to go left thumb. right thumb. I should have taken your glasses and shoes. Right hand going to be like this. Right thumb. So we're going to roll it so you don't have to step like a little more centered. So you're going to go like this and then roll your thumb completely over. So start right here and we're going to roll. Push a little harder. I'll let you go ahead and just try it. Like start on the edge like this and just roll pushing really hard. Start right here. Keep rolling. Now lift up. Okay, now right index finger, you're going to do the same thing. Yep. Roll it. Keep rolling. Lift up. Try it again. Keep rolling. Keep going. Oh. Start over. Yeah, this machine's not very friendly. Good. Oh, I didn't like it. All right, try it again. Keep rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. Okay, try it again. Keep going. All right. Okay. Wipe this down a little bit. Now I'm going to 
want to try again. So like where the it wants it is right between the, the white. Uh. So we'll start on the edge of the white. Yeah. A little faster. Keep rolling. And it's not taking it. We'll accept that middle finger. Middle what? Same thing with your middle finger. Roll it. Right hand? Right hand. Oh. Yep. You gotta move it in a little bit. rolling. Lift up. There you go with that. Now ring finger right hand. Same thing. I guess that one's yeah. Let's see if it works. It's not going to work but yeah it's not going to work. So that's your right ring finger. Okay, now do your right pinky, roll that. You gotta push a little harder. That's not even picking it up. Try it again. Right hand. Oh, right. Yep. We've already done this. Try it again. Lift your fingers up. Okay. Roll your right middle finger again. Uh, your pointer finger, I mean. Yep. Move it down a little. I'll roll it from right there. So lift up. Like I said, this thing is not most friendly. Alright, try it again. Move your finger down. Now try it again. Keep rolling. See, that was a good one. It didn't take it. One more time. Just a nice gradual roll. Come on, that one's perfect. Take it. Why did you just do that? Okay, right index again. Oh my goodness. Lift up. Just relax your hand. That was it right there.
one more time. Keep trying. Try again. This is driving me nuts. Left up. Sure. Middle finger. Try to roll from the very outside. Just all the way over. Relax. Go ahead and relax a little bit. Again. There we go. A little pinky. Pinky right finger. Is that not working? Yeah, can you imagine trying to do this with someone who um, really doesn't really doesn't want to be doing this? I'm sure it's it's not comfortable for me, so I'm, I'm sure it's not comfortable for you. But can you try just pushing real hard, just with the tip of your pinky, rolling it? Again. A little faster. Try again, just a little faster. Again. This is insane. All right. So do your left thumb from the outside in. Yep. Keep rolling. Lift up. Do it again. Move it in a little bit. There you go. Now roll. Lift up. All right, middle finger. Keep rolling. Lift up. Do it again. Keep rolling. Lift up. Ring finger. Lift up. Try it again. Start a little bit further in. Right there. Lift up. All right. Now, left pinky. Keep 
keep rolling, lift up, drag in, last finger. Keep rolling, lift up. Okay. You can go ahead and have a seat in the brown chair again over there. I should have caught this, but I do have to take your glasses just until you leave, okay? Sorry. I should have caught that the first time. Okay, I just put that on your form, okay? So these are just saying that we took your fingerprints. If you want to sign mm -hmm. next to the X's. So there's an X up here. And next there. So again, I'm just going over all the paperwork. That way when they come back down here later, they can just give you your stuff and you can leave, okay? So you're going to get this when you leave. is a copy of your breath test results. This is your citation for DUI. Um, it says you're being charged with the crime described on this form. If you do not appear in court, this may result in a warrant for your arrest and detention in jail. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can contact Whitman County District Court. Their information is up here. You can call them at that phone number there. I use all the information that you gave me. Your phone number is. Okay. Um, and this is just saying that you were charged with DUI. Okay. Um, like I was talking about earlier, this is your request for a DUI hearing. Um, I will just read this top portion to you if you would like, or you can read it later if you would rather you just read it yourself. Can I see you? Yep. Um, I'll give that to you, or you're, you'll get this when you leave, okay? If you have any questions about this, you can contact the Department of Licensing, okay? Um, this is your notice of hearing, conditions of release, and promise to appear. This form is just saying that you have court on December 4th, 2023 at 3 p.m., uh, Monday, 3 p.m., at the Colfax office, which is Whitman County Courthouse. Um, is that in person? That's in person, yep. Oh. So, and that's in Colfax, okay? And there's a phone number right here if you have any questions. Um, but I do have to read this form to you, okay? Mm -hmm. um, it says, your appearance at the above time and location is mandatory and may not be waived. Your failure to be personally, your failure to personally appear for this hearing or failure to comply with the below conditions or release shall result in the immediate issuance of a bench warrant for your arrest conditions of release. Pending this hearing, 
The court has ordered that you comply with the following conditions of release. You shall not possess or consume alcohol or unprescribed controlled substances. You shall not drive a motor vehicle without a valid license while suspended or revoked and without required liability insurance or other compliance with applicable responsibility laws. I have received a copy of this notice. I understand the above conditions of release and I promise to comply and appear as directed above. Until it's saying, before. it says, you shall not drive a motor vehicle without a valid license while suspended or revoked and without required liability insurance or other compliance with applicable responsibility laws. So if you have any questions about the status of your driver's license, yeah. contact the Department of Licensing, okay? Okay, like today or because the court hearing is on Monday. So. Yeah, okay. so I would play it safe if I was you. Um, I don't know how quickly they enact these things, you know? We're just kind of like the middlemen, right? Because how am I supposed to get to the court? Like, yeah, exactly. I'm so. just curious about that. Yeah. Because, I mean, I don't have anything to mm -hmm. take Well, if it's at 3 p.m. on Monday, you can call the court before then, okay? okay. Um, so this right here is just saying, driver's hearing request information was given to the arrested person. Um, the notice of right to hearing, that's what this is, your request for a DUI hearing. This is just saying that I gave you this information. If you want to sign and date. It is December 3rd. Are they open Sundays or? The court, the court is not now. Or the, the Department of Licensing? I don't, I don't think so, no. So I have to call Monday before court? I'm sorry, I'm, I have, if, if I you have, have questions, worked really yeah. early mm -hmm. morning Monday. Uh -huh. um, so am I able, I'm not able to drive to work? Like, I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Uh, like I said, I don't know how fast they, and oh. like they put in place suspended license or, you know. I'm not sure really what happens after this to your license. Um, so there's the request for DUI hearing, door notice to appear, citation, and your breath results. You will get all of these that will be with your property up here, okay? So when they come down and they release you, all this paperwork will go with you, okay? I do need to get a copy of this first. I just get a copy. All right, we're gonna go back in there for a little bit till day shift comes and comes to let you go. Like I said, when I brought you here, we can only keep you here for six hours. It was about, I think, three thirty to uh, four o'clock, somewhere in between there. So it's seven seven eleven right now. So you could be here potentially up till ten o'clock. Would you like another blanket? Yes or no? Please, I'm just really cold, yes. Okay, all right, you can go in there and then I'll bring you a blanket.
What is your name? Um, Nigel. Nigel, I think your cousin's here to pick you up, so oh, let's get, get you on out of here. So grab up those blankets for me, obviously your, your uh, slides, and uh, come on over here. Nah, bring them with you and we'll set them out here. It's easier for the custodial staff. Yeah, yeah just throw them down there. That works. And then you can uh, have a seat in that brown chair. We'll go over to paperwork and I'll, I'll get you out of here. So, uh, I'm sure Officer Romero explained it, but you got court, mandatory appearance, 3 p.m. on Monday in Colfax. Don't miss it. Okay. Miss it, they'll we'll issue a warrant. Okay. And you, then you go to big kid jail. And if you request for DUI hearing, if you want your license or whatever, however that works, do that. Results in your breath test and a criminal citation. Make sure to read that in its entirety. Okay? Okay. All right. You're getting your property back, so sign there for me. Go and put your stuff back on and we'll get you get you get you going. Easy peasy. Oh, okay. oh. I see that. I see that. Hopefully the trash is clean. If not. So I'm just curious, so I I'm like not able to drive like at all until Monday or No, no. There was a... I think your license is I'm just curious because I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna get to court and I have to work early Monday, like yeah, early yeah, morning. I understand. Let's see here. I mean, he did, um, officer, he said to call the Department of Licensing, um, but he said they're not open on Sunday, so I have to call Monday. Monday at 9, yeah. Let's see. At least 90 days. So, yeah, it's possible that it could be suspended. It would seem like it would be pretty quick. For them to get that done administratively before Monday, however, kind of. Uh, you know, I've never been on the receiving end of one of these, so you're asking some real good questions. So you are further advised if you submit to this breath test and the test administered, your driving, your driver's license permit or privilege to drive will be suspended, revoked, or denied by the Department of Licensing for at least 90 days if you are 21 and over and you. They have a breath sample that's, you know, greater than 0 .08, which you did, so I would think so. You can immediately apply for an ignition interlock device by filling out that DOL hearing form, however, comma, but that's not going to get done before Monday. So before you drive, I would call the Department of Licensing um, because, yeah, you don't get arrested for suspended driving. Um, and they're, they're not open. They're, but, yeah, they're not open today. You have to call them, like, Monday morning at 9 o'clock. So I can't drive at all today. Uh, well, I mean, uh, I, I don't know how quickly the Department of Licensing works. I don't know if they have a weekend staff that like gets DUI paperwork. Officer Romero should be done with his DUI report, so it's been submitted to them. So okay. I can't can I, say. Can I go? Yeah, this way. Okay, thank you. Just push on that door. When that door closes, there will be a second door. Push on that door and have a better day. <laughs>